Well, I'm gonna try to keep this quick because I don't like long videos. Last night, get this, my husband and I are up at a cabin with his family, you know, celebrating the end of Thanksgiving, they're all going back home, and we were talking about putting together a photo book and a calendar for Mark's mom, who wasn't there. And I said, okay, fine, you guys, I'll take charge of the photo book and the calendar, as I do, but I need everybody to airdrop me photos that you'd like in it. So we wanted to do kind of like a highlight book for grandma of 2020. And so I was sitting there waiting for everyone to airdrop and I had 132 photos airdrop to me, super quick. Great, right? And then I had my computer with me. So while the boys were turning on some boxing match, I pulled out my computer and I sent them all to my computer and uploaded them to a website. That's another side note. But the website that I uploaded them to Okay, let me back up. So we're gonna make her a calendar and we're gonna make her a photo book. When I download or when I sent all of the photos that people had sent me in Mark's family to my computer, I realized that literally half of them were in the HEIC format. Okay. So many of you may not even know what that means or what that is because it's the new default on the iPhone. So two years ago, Apple came out with a new format. So do you under, do you, um, you may recognize JPEG, right? So a JPEG is a photo format or a PDF is for you know bound document. Well, H E I F is high efficiency something something I can look that up. Anyway, it's a high efficiency format that Apple came up with to for photos inside of your phone so that it, your phone they're more compressed so that the phone can store more photos for you, right? But it's very minimal compression and. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Well, here's the hard part. If you ever airdrop or send those photos that are in the HEIF or HEIC format to an Android user or to my laptop or anything else, they are not, you're not gonna be able to read them. So here's the problem. I literally wrote a blog post two years ago talking about this and realized last night, this is a big deal because I literally tried to upload all these photos to a website to create a photo book for Mark's mom. Not my website because I am obsessed with silver highlight photo books, um, which they run about $200. So anyway, that's from a company called Adorama and I will happily share them with you. Um, I love their photo books because they are dark green printed and they use silver highlight paper. So they're really high end, um, but they also last. So. As my story goes on, I uploaded all the photos to my computer. Now, Mark is filming. Hi, Mark. Um, and look at, this is my downloads, okay? So I named this folder Ellen. And if you can see here, I have 135 photos that people sent me. Um, I'll make this bigger. That people had sent me um, for grandma's book. And if you look over on this side, can you get in there a little closer, Mark? Here, I can do this. If you look over here, check this out. H-E-I-F, right? So that many photos, and then they switched to JPEG. That many photos came from different people's phones in this H-E-I-F format. But guess what? Not one person. And these pictures are fine. You can still see them, right? But some websites won't take them. So, because I'm on a Mac... And because I used an iPhone and both of them are on iOS 11, I can read an H-E-I-F photo. But if I sent this to a PC, guess what? Wouldn't be able to read them. And if I upload them to the site, a website that doesn't read them, they're pretty much don't exist. So that's how many H-E-I-C photos I got from different people in Mark's family. And I'm like, wait, do you guys not realize um, what this means and they had no idea right and so i'm like oh probably most people don't have any idea what it means to have your phones in this format so what i might want you guys to do and i want to just show you how to change it because if i were you i would be shooting with the jpeg just to make things just to make life easier i'm just going to show you how to change it and if you want to know more details about why or um then great but if you if i were you i would change this so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your phone and you're going to go to settings okay and this is what I want you guys to look at. And you won't even know that you're shooting in this HEIF format unless you actually import them to a computer. You don't really see the file type. 
Um, so you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna scroll down And we're gonna look, look for camera. So there's our camera. And then right here at the top, you'll see formats, okay? So everybody click on that, formats. And oh boy, this is Mark's phone. Look at what he's, his camera capture is set at. You don't want high efficiency, okay? You want most compatible. So I want everybody to go open their phones, go to their settings and change this to most compatible. This will change it back to your JPEG. You won't have any issues going forward. There's really no way to change your photos that you've already taken, um, but there are, um, there are, so what I had to do, there are online platforms and it's, such, it's so hard to find them. Um, what I had to do, Mark, pull on, come on in here. So I have an old blog post, not old, but a couple years old, that talks about the HEF format if you wanna learn more. But what I had to do literally is find a, an online um, tool. This one is called freetoolonline.com forward slash. I'll leave a link in the, in the Facebook post or below here. But after I tried like three different websites, some of them make you pay, of course. And then some of them want you to log in and create an account and give you all this information. I finally found this one where I could dump 80 photos into it and then it converted everything to a JPEG and then it dumped a zip folder back to my computer for download. So that was the best, fastest way to do this. And I will leave a link at the bottom of this Facebook Live for you. So if you do have this problem, then you can um, use this site to convert them. So bottom line is, let's change our photos back to the original JPEG version. Um, I feel like until Apple can really figure out how to convert these or make them more compatible, um, we just shouldn't even be shooting in that format because it, it limits us to what we can do with our photos, right? If you're uploading your these photos to Persnickety Prints, our software reads HEIF and HEIC photos. So we our software will convert it, it'll read it, but not every soft not every website can. And my fear is that you guys will have these saved somewhere and like in 10 years you may go to look at that photo and you can't access it somehow. So anyway, there's just my little tip for today. After last night's experience, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to tell my people. You probably don't even know that you're shooting in this format. So switch those over back over to JPEG and let me know if you have any questions and hope you're having a happy holidays and let's bring on December. See you guys.